Let's see a couple things about sliders in Unity. First, create a canvas. Make sure that the event system object is there, otherwise you won't be able to interact with UI elements, no matter how hard you click with the mouse. Inside the canvas, create a slider object. Now, I would say the most important properties, at least for now, would be the minimum and maximum values. You could also enable this checkbox to get integers values. The slider from here allows you to set a start value and the on value change event here, you can call functions when the slider changes. For example, call a function inside a script you want and pass the value of the slider to that function. Actually, you don't even need to create the script to make it work. Check this out. I'll set the max value to five, add a new element in the on value changed event, drag the directional light game object to this field. And with this drop down menu, you can search for components assigned to that object. For example, this directional light has a light component. So here we can choose properties and functions from the light component. See this line here? It's really important that you choose functions or variables that are above this line within the dynamic float section. You may notice that we have, for example, intensity here and also float intensity here. Both properties refers to the intensity of the light component. But if you choose the static parameter, when the slider changes, we are going to send this value from here to the intensity of the light. And most likely you would like to pass the value of the slider so we can control the intensity of the light with the slider. That's why we need to choose the parameter from the dynamic float section. Now, if you run this, the slider should be working. Please remember that you can subscribe to this channel with the button below. Now, let's see how to send the slider value to a script. I will create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Otherwise, the script won't be executed, no matter how hard you try. Inside the script, we need to define a public function, name it whatever you like, but make sure this function requires a float parameter, because the slider will send a float to this function, even if you check the whole numbers checkbox. Inside the function, we will simply print a message in the console with the value we receive as parameter. Now, in the inspector of the slider, let's add another element in the onValueChanged event and drag the game object that has the script with the function assigned. Then, with the drop down menu, you search for the function inside the script. Make sure to choose the function inside the dynamic float, not the one in static parameters. Run this and you'll see the messages in the console. Don't forget to subscribe so we'll see each other again in the next video.